evaluate limit of x cube plus 4x square minus 5x divided by x minus 1 as x approaches 1. So let's first substitute 1 and then check our answer. So once you substitute, what do you get? You get 1 plus 4 minus 5 divided by 1 minus 1, I should write. Okay. So we substitute x equals to 1 and then check. So we get 5 minus 5 as 0, 1 minus 1 as 0, 0 over 0. So whenever you get 0 over 0, you cannot really find limit by substitution, right? It indicates a discontinuity at x equals to 1. Now since limit of a function is value which the function is approaching, so we can find that at that discontinuity, what value function is approaching. And that we can do by getting rid of a common factor which cost is 0 over 0. x minus 1 is the common factor, right? So let's factorize the numerator. We have limit x approaches 1. We can take x common. Then we are left with x squared plus 4x minus 5. That's a quadratic factor divided by x minus 1. Now we can factorize that, which is x approaches 1. So we are looking for two numbers whose product is minus 5 and sum is plus 4. So that means it is x plus 5 times x minus 1 divided by x minus 1, right? Now x minus 1 and x minus 1 cancel out. We have limit x approaches 1. So whenever you cancel, you should write x is not equal to 1. There is a discontinuity, a hole at x equals to 1, right? So we have this function as limit x times x plus 5. At this stage, you can substitute 1 here. And so you get 1 times 1 plus 5, which is 6. So the limit of this function is 6. When you sketch this function, this is what you should be expecting. Now, so basically the function was x times x plus 5, right? That means it has two zeros. One is at x equals to 0. The other one is at x equals to minus 5. And it's not equal to 1. That means it is. it has a hole at x equals to 1, right? So at, let's say this is our 1. So at 1 somewhere there will be a hole. We'll figure out where, right? And then the graph of the function seems to be like a parabola, kind of like this, right? So that is the graph of the function where there is a hole here, right, at x equals to 1. So this is what you should draw. So you should draw a hole here and then your function. Do you understand? So that is how it is. Now, the value of the function approaches at this point is 6. So the limit of this function as x approaches 1 is 6. So this point is minus 5 for us, and that's the origin, right? So that is how it is going to look like. I hope it makes it clear. Thank you, and all the best.